back on the air. This is Radio Entrepreneurs. My name is Jeffrey Davis. And uh, again, all week long, we're uh, being hosted by the Center for Innovation and Entrepreneurship at uh, UMass Dartmouth. Uh, wonderful facility. Uh, we can feel the entrepreneurship all around us. I want to thank our, our host, Toby Stapleton, and uh, also my co-host for this, ep- uh, this, uh, this particular interview, David Soper. Hi, David. Hey, how's it going? Good, thanks. So are you feeling entrepreneurial today? I am. Uh, I've actually... I've actually had a chance to talk with some of the entrepreneurs in the other room, and I'm just feeling the vibe. You're feeling the vibe. Well, you know, I, I'm actually getting juiced about the next one because uh, we're going to be speaking to Louis uh, Gonsalves. Yes. Okay. Of Juiced Cafe. Welcome. How are you doing? Good, thanks. How are you doing? Uh, great. Great. Beautiful morning. Ready to get this rolling. So, so how did you decide to get juiced? Well, um, I feel like there's a void in the in the marketplace right now for a healthy eatery. So a juice bar, smoothies, um, healthy food for people of all ages. We need to eat better, I feel. Louis, tell us a little bit, uh, when we were in the green room there, (coughs) tell us a little bit about uh, your start in the world and what you're currently doing to help fund this venture in your background. We don't mean when you were born. We mean start in the business world. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, I thought you meant when I was born. (laughs) No, I know. Well, uh, well uh, first of all, it started when I was in the military. I, I was a helicopter mechanic, fresh out of high school, joined the military. Um, so I'm a U.S. Army veteran. And I was always, uh, I used to fix helicopters. And while I was fixing helicopters, I always cut hair. So I thought, you know, uh, the military, I, th- I think I like to take my own orders. So I got out of the military. And when I, when I got out, I went to barber school, which... Uh, the U.S. military funded with my GI Bill, opened the barbershop in 1999. So opened the barbershop, and it tend to just grow and grow and grow to a point we have uh, three barbershops, a hair salon. We have our own commercial building that I just finished building recently on the busiest street in the city, Plymouth Avenue, which houses our main barbershop, which has 11 barbers, uh, three hairstylists. And um, we always... Uh, you know, knew that something needed to be done about people's hair. So now... I, I always yeah. use more hair. Yeah. I could always use more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the more the better, right? <laughs> yeah. You, you can always... Uh, you can, I, as a barber, you can take some off, but you can't put, put it back on, so you got to be careful. So um, I keep looking for that barber. <laughs> <laughs> you might have found me. Um, so I know that in, in my lifestyle, uh, I always worked out... Take, try to take care of myself and there's others you know like me and and just people of the newer generation just take care of themselves more more 40 year olds 50 year olds are exercising even older and we just need a place to eat so we need i feel that we need something that's not going to damage our body like fast food and all these these options that aren't good for you and i know if there's a person like me that wants to eat something healthy aside from dunkin donuts where you know, uh, I love I love muffins, and the muffin has 55 grams of sugar. That's not good. So <laughs> I just feel like uh, a juice bar would be pretty good. And all natural juices, um, all natural fruit smoothies will, will also serve burritos, um, bowls, um, smoothie bowls, different things that uh, get get you energized and, and have no additives and all the bad stuff that harm your body.